Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day, out of the wild what tarot deck is, the Three of Bows and Fulfillment. And, you know, we just talked about this card about nine days ago. You got out of that pool, that Eight of Vessels rebirth, and, um, you know, you told yourself you're going to be happy. And, um, you know, a week's gone by, and this card's popping back up. So, um, you know, in my mind, this is just a reminder for you that the path that you're on, you've made that decision, okay? You've, and you keep telling yourself, I'm going to be happy. Now, it doesn't matter which, which path you go down, the right or the left, okay? It's not the choice of the path. It's the choice of finding that balance. Like she's wearing, you know, this person's wearing on her gown. Telling yourself, you know what? I've got to find the right balance in my life to be happy. And like I said, this is a reminder because you've been in through a transition here for the last week. All right, and you've got a lot of stones, three stones down here, and the, and the queen, queen of stones that bears, you know, happened yesterday. Okay, now, you know, spirit nourishes you getting inner security and joy. Spirit nourishes you when you're happy. Spirit nourishes you when you're fulfilled. Okay, when you are meeting those goals and those desires, and that's giving you a sense of, a sense of accomplishment, that's... That's helping you become more confident. That's allowing you to draw more from the universe to, to achieve even bigger goals, okay? You know, and we've got that archer sitting down there too, which is, you know, I've always said, you know, keep your eyes set on the prize, you know? And, you know, you've got the ace of arrows as well. You know, breathing new life into that concept, okay? Breathing that new life into that, that spiritual energy, to flow through you. And ever since this card's come up, there's been a transition going on. That's what that Six of Arrows transition is, you know, a week out right now. The, tra the transition to find that happiness, to find that fulfillment in whatever you're doing. You know, where you feel safe and secure. All right? And that's, you know, in the, in the three cards with the stones on it, the 10, the nine, and the queen of stones, are telling you that you've got that security and that stability and that materialism, okay? By opening yourself up to the universe, you know, what's happened is you filled yourself up and you become fulfilled with, with that quest that you're on, all right? You've gained the knowledge, you know, in the last nine to 10 days, all right? Your journey has become easier because you've opened yourself up, all right? And as a result, because you're happier, you're, be, you're finding that balance in your life. And you're saying to yourself, man, why I wish I would have known this before. You know, maybe I need to be like that queen of stones that, that bear and preserve, okay, this, this awesome energy that I'm feeling. You know, because I really do enjoy finding that balance. All right. And because I'm balanced, I feel more focused. Focused on those goals. Everything becomes clearer. Everything becomes, you know, more natural for you. I remember years ago, I, I read a book, um, the tenth, I think it was the, the Ninth Insight. I don't even think that's what it's called. Celestine Prophecy is what it's called by, uh, by uh, James Redfield, I think. And, you know, through this, through this quest, through this journey that this, that the, you know, the writer takes you through, you get to an area where decisions are being made based on the energy patterns. And I want to say it might be the fifth or sixth insight, okay, within this journey. And you may look to your left, and everything's beautiful. Sun shining, flowers are gleaming, glistening, they're blooming. And then you look to the right, and it just doesn't feel right. You know, maybe the grass is dead, or you know, maybe there's some shadows from the clouds, or something like that. And you just don't, you just don't feel the energy. So what do you do? You trust your instincts. You trust your intuition. All right, and you go to the left. And when you go to the left, all right, things become more natural for you. Things happen quickly. All right. There's a positive vibe with it. 
all right? And you're focused. You're focused on what's going on, all right? Being fulfilled promotes confidence, strength, and peace. And as you stay committed to your goals that are out there, this is the inner spirit that shines, okay? It's the inner spirit that shines on others, and people are going to see it. People are going to see the light that you have shining out there. And they're going to be asking themselves, you know, wow, man, you know, Monica seems so happy. You know, what's changed in her life? I can tell you what's changed in her life. She's transitioning. She's transitioning knowing that she wants to be fulfilled. She knows, you know, knowing that she wants to be happy. And she's finding that stability and that security. All right. And she's making space for that happiness to come into her life. She's not focusing on the negative. She's focusing on the positive. And as a result, people are going to see that change in you. They're going to, you know, and they're going to flock to you like a like a moth to a light, okay? Because they're going to want that energy. They're going to want to steal some of that from you. You have to close that off, all right? When you feel that inner spirit shining within yourself and others are drawn to you, that's going to build trust and security, not only within your within you, but with your coworkers. Your family relationships, your friends, your social settings, your community, however it is. All right. And your inner energy, be, you know, like I said, will be that beacon for others to follow. They'll be out there. Okay. So, you know, looking at the rest of the cards down here, you know, you've got a couple of arrows cards, you've got a couple of stones cards, and you got the major arcana. You know, and like I said, a week ago, you were in transition. Coming off of those challenges, coming off those uh, that two of stones, all right? And you said, you know what? I'm going to take this boat. I'm going to sail across to this other land. I'm going to leave all my worries behind. I'm going to be fulfilled. I'm going to be happy, all right? And I've got the sunset behind me, and i got winds in my sails to make things going on. And you, and you came home. Came home to, you know, mom and dad or brother and sister, aunt and uncle, where there's tons of security there. There's happiness there. And you say, you know what? This is where I want to be. All right? And while you're at home, you remembered the traditional values. Remembered what it was like to, to be healed by the tradition. All right? To maybe listen to your mother and your father, maybe your brother and sister, to help give you that, that healing energy. For you to start off on your on your next path and you thought about it and you said you know what the archer showed up and you were talking to her you say you know what what makes you so successful it's because i keep my eyes on the prize i'm ready at all times when i see an opportunity i'm going to pull my bowstring back and notch my arrow and i'm going to go for that goal that desire that ambition and that archer told you to, you know, to look at your arrows. You've got the ace of arrows in your quiver. What is that breath of life? When I'm out hunting, you know, I have to steady my breathing. I have to relax. I have to be, be steady in my actions. How are you steady with, with breathing new life into a project? How are you going to be steady in creating that happiness, that fulfillment in your life? And then the Queen of, Queen of Stones bear showed up yesterday. And she's looking at you. Okay. That Queen of Bows is looking at you and she's saying, you know what? What do you need to preserve? You know what it means to be happy. Okay. You just had it here. How do you preserve that so you always have that, that knowingness, that, that, that feeling of happiness? And then that Queen of Stones also asks you, where do you need to make more space? Where do you need to make space in your life to hold the happiness that's out there? It's being fulfilled instead of holding on to the negative, the worry, the fear. And that's what that Queen of Stones is asking you in order for you to be happy, in order for you to be fulfilled, finding that balance. So there you have it. That's today's card of the day, the Three of Bulls Fulfillment. Hit that like button for me, share it with others, subscribe to the channel. And this is Dee for Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow.
Take care. God bless. Stay safe, everybody.